Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how you can grab this image from Google and turn it into this multiple layer color image into Cricut Design Space to make something like this. So please stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Okay, so for today's video, this is all that I'm using. Of course, you have your basic tools for your Cricut machine. I have here my vinyl, my transfer tape, parchment paper to help layer my image and I will be placing onto a wine glass. Okay, so before I go into the video, I wanted to share with you guys real quick a couple of, of websites where you can find free SVGs. I will put the links in the description box below. Um, and also real quick, I wanted to show you how they look when they're downloaded. So let me just go back here. This is how this frontier.net would look. You kind of just want to search um, through any of these folders here. I was in the Donald one and in the Santa SVG. So this example, this is how it would save. So I'll go ahead and save as, save. And I'll go into my Cricut Design Space and upload that image. And it would look like this, of course, in a cup file. So you'll upload. That way, when you insert it into Cricut Design Space, it looks like this. Um, a lot of the times, because these are free SVGs, um, they're not always like the correct color, for example, or the correct size. So you'll kind of have to sit there and play around with it, test it out. So you just ungroup it and just kind of play around and see where everything is going to go. For example, I will change this to white and place it where it needs to go right here do the same thing with all of the colors everything seems to fit perfectly so there you may not need to adjust the sizes and that's how it'll look when you click on make it it will separate everything by its color so that one was good wanted to show you guys one more example. Let me get rid of this. Um, let's go to this one. It's called freesvgs.com. And this one just gives you the option to download. You go here. I do want to point out that a lot of these websites are just um, for free, for personal use only. So they cannot be used for commercial purposes, which means you can't use this and sell it to someone. Um, so for this example, I'll go ahead and just download it. I go in, back into Cricut Design Space, click on Upload. Here is my Pikachu. Same thing, saving as a cup file, Upload and Insert. And here is how this one looks. As you can see, there is a lot of small little cuts here, which I don't like. So I'll go ahead and a group. I kind of move it out the way. This looks good, just the four colors. I'll pull this one out. And here is where those small cuts are coming from. So I'll go ahead and just select all and delete. So that way, again, when you are ready to cut, it is separated by color and you are good to go. Okay, so that is done. Real quick, what I wanted to show you guys um, is if you go through all of these websites and you cannot find the image that you are looking for, you can always Google. For example, um, I'll do Patrick uh star and i always put outline so you want to make sure that you get a very simple white um image or outline so i'll go ahead and go into images and just kind of look around to see which one i like and i think this one is pretty so i'll go ahead and save this image I'll go into Cricut Design Space and same thing, upload. Here it is. I'll go ahead and click on Complex. And my last video was showing how I upload images. So if you want to take a look at that, basically, I always change my color tolerance to 100. 
and I start clicking and I preview to make sure that it is a clean cut and then I just go through everything that is this gray white color once that is done I like to preview to make sure that everything looks clean it does so I'll go ahead and continue and save as a cut image go ahead and click on that and insert okay so once you are here this is where the fun begins I'll go ahead and make this a little smaller and so to get some color in him we are going to create different layers each layer is a different color Patrick is composed of five colors so I will go ahead and make five duplicates of him an extra five I'll go ahead and separate them out so there should be a total of a six and the reason I did an extra was because your first one you want it all black and to do that you'll go ahead and click on him click on contour and you will hide all your contours click out of it and you have your all black so you want your all black to get that black effect at the end of the image so that's why I do that you don't have to do this um, but that's how I do it so then what you want to do is you want to start off with the biggest colors right so we want to make this one pink this one purple green and so on and so forth right so we'll go ahead and go with this one and click on Patrick you'll go to contour and we're gonna focus on the pink we're starting off with color pink to start off I always hide all contours then I click on the color right so this part of him is pink this part of him is pink and his legs are pink once I've selected everything I go back up to the top click on that and get out leaves you with this you want to change this color to pink kind of bring it oval over and there you have your first layer so then we're gonna go on to our second layer our second layer let's do his shorts right they're green so I'll go ahead and go to contour again I hide all contour everything that is green is this part of the shorts this part of the shorts and this top part and again I click on that top one and I get out and it leaves me with just that part I'll change this over to green go over here look at the placement perfect that is our second layer and I'm gonna continue to do this with the rest of the colors so last example I'll click on him and we're doing purple again I'm going to hide our contours everything that is purple is currently just these flowers right here once I'm done selecting the color I'll go ahead and go to that first one and get out it leaves me just with that I'll change this to purple and place it over and that's it moving on to the next one we can go ahead and do white his eyes are white I'll go ahead and click on contour hide our contour everything that is white is just his eyeballs click on that first one and get out change that to white and there he is my last one is black so I will Hide all contours. His eye is black. His eyebrow is black. His belly button is black. I want this smile to be black. I'll click the inside top one and get out. And here I'll go ahead and just arrange to the front. 
place it over. You notice that there is something wrong here. The tongue is black. We want to change that to pink. So I'll go ahead and go back to my black contour and do this. And that is it. Once that is complete, everything that looks good. Kind of just want to select all and group. And you want to size it to your liking. Um, I do plan to put this on a wine glass. So I'll go ahead and add, bring in my templates. Wine glass is, I'll say, three. I'll go ahead and arrange and send to the back. Put him over. So something like that. All right, I can go ahead and get rid of my templates. I will click on make it. I will go ahead and have my machine cut it and I will see you guys back at my desk. Okay, so to help me layer my vinyl, I went ahead and grabbed a parchment paper and I'm going to place my vinyl over that parchment paper and just kind of uh, make sure that it is aligned with that black vinyl. I'll go ahead and leave that bottom empty. That way it gets stuck and it doesn't move. Then I'll grab my scraper and place it over just like that. I can remove and we are done with our first layer. All right, so I'll go ahead and do it with the shorts. I'll go ahead and transfer that over to my transfer tape. I'll grab that parchment paper place it over and then place my vinyl on top of my parchment paper i'll make sure to leave some room at the bottom there so my transfer tape can stick that way when i remove that paper it does not move and i can just go ahead and grab my squeegee scraper and place it over a lot of people don't like this method but i thought i'd go ahead and give you this option if not you can just go and do it regular just eye it and place your vinyl over All right, guys, and here's the finale. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you guys have any questions. And please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much, and you guys have a great day.